We didn't know why it died. You know, we didn't know why we lost, you know, 20,000 breeding pair in Louisiana to zero. So brown pelicans are the state bird of Louisiana. It's also an important indicator of the health of our coastal marshes. By 1963, pelicans are relatively eliminated from Louisiana due to the effects of DDT. We're currently on Queen Bess Island, which was where birds were originally restocked in 1968. You'll notice that there's rock around this island. Those, those are projects that were done in the early 90s when we recognized that the island's washing away. So we were actually able to, to armor the island and raise the island to make sure that we can maintain this island as nesting habitat for your children and grandchildren. I'm concerned about its deterioration since the 90s, but you know what, I'm excited about the opportunity to, to see this once again restored and restored so it'll be here for many years to come. Recovery for the brown pelican is restoring the population and its breeding range to what it historically was. It's been a very long project and from my career standpoint, uh, a real success. You can count them, you can count them on just a few fingers and toes. And, and now you count them in the thousands across the state. And in 2009, we were successful in removing the brown pelican from the endangered species list. And today we enjoy uh, probably as many, if not more, pelicans than they did prior to the effects of DDT. But this is the, this is the crux. This was the beginning. And it was wildlife and fisheries that, the state, that took the guts to move forward. But wildlife and fisheries deserves the credit for the restoration of this bird in Louisiana. We didn't know if it would work, but it worked. And now we have this huge population of pelicans. We have a healthy environment, and it was um, it was it was due to the to, to the fortitude of people that made this happen. <laughs>